We're going to open up in about a couple of minutes, and we've got some red ink, but not much. Keith Fitz with me now. Keith, you say, buy the best, ignore the rest. Okay, who's the best? <laughs> Well, the best are going to be defined by a number of unique characteristics. They're going to be lined up making must-have products and services. They're going to have visionary executives and fortress-like fortress balance sheets. So the products and services they make can change the world. Think Apple versus Peloton, for example. That's a nice to have. So give me more names than Apple. Give me another two. Sure. Absolutely. You could do this as sector by sector, really. It's usually going to be the top one or two in any specific sector. So, for example, in medical oncology space, it's going to be AbbVie. In defense, it's going to be Lockheed Barton. And I own all three of those, full disclosure. Do you care about the Fed and when or if it cuts interest rates later this year? Do you care? I do care, Stuart, but it's not an input like you'd think. The only thing I'm looking for the Fed to do is either admit it's wrong and or get out of the way. So to the extent that either of those things two happen, it's going to bring liquidity into the market. There's still four to six trillion dollars looking to find a home. The big hedge funds, for the most part, are on the wrong side of the playbook right now. So they've got to get on board. And then finally, all the individual investors are going to come running when the Fed finally rings the alarm bell and says, hey, we're done. You got so, it. Yeah, I look at it, but it doesn't bother me. Yeah, uh, it's kind of fading for a lot of people, isn't it? All right, Keith, thanks a yeah. lot. Man. It was only short, but sweet. And we'll talk to you again real thanks. soon. All right, here we go. We, uh, it is now five seconds away from 